Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're going to watch this video, if you watch it. Um, please excuse the noises in the back because of my health. I have to have uh, air filters and air conditioners and fans going at all times. So, And I also have an audio limiter on this mic so that it doesn't uh, really jump around as far as volume goes. Anyway, um, I put out a biography video before. It was a 45-minute biography video on here, and I realized people don't want to watch a 45-minute video. <laughs> so I decided to make this shorter one so that people will you know, watch it and understand what's going on. This is basically who I am and what I'm about. This is the short version of that. Uh, I'm not going to go through my history as far as musician, you know, uh, musician stuff goes as far as the uh, my equipment, my amps, my guitars. That's already in another video and you can watch that if you want. I'll leave that in the uh, description. Anyway, um, people have been asking me a lot lately about who I am, what I do, uh, you know, what I'm about, what I play, what I use, the whole nine yards. It's been happening a lot lately. Not just one person, it's been a lot of people. So, I'm going to make this video to basically tell everything you need to know and do it hopefully quick. Anyway, I, I also, I link my, anybody wants to know my equipment, uh, what I've used, what I, what I do use now, what I have used in the past, I always link what's called my equip board. It's a website. I always link it in the description, so please read the descriptions. The video descriptions are very important. I spend a lot of time typing those out and it, I put a lot of thought into making sure that they're very concise and that they list everything I've, I'm currently using, everything I have used, anything regarding making the video and what's needed. I also made another video which basically goes through how I do what I do and I'll try to link that in the video description as well. Please read those descriptions. The descriptions are important. Um, they're right usually under the video if you're on your phone and they're right under the video if you're on a computer or whatever you're on. But the, de the descriptions are extremely important and they answer all the questions you may ask of me, usually. Um, also, I hate asking for this. Uh, I can't stand channels that sit there and ask for this, but please, if you watch my videos and you like what I do, leave a like. YouTube sees that as engagement and then my videos won't get buried behind the usual popular YouTube usual suspects. Otherwise, my videos get buried, nobody watches them, you know, it, it's, it's just a lose-lose situation in that way. So please, whatever you do, leave a like. And if you don't like me, leave a dislike. YouTube sees that as engagement just as much as likes do, believe it or not. So when you come here and you want to hate on me, hey, you're helping my channel. So thanks. <laughs> anyway, what I do is I play budget gear. Uh, I've had the expensive stuff here and there throughout my decades long career. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It was a liability to have expensive gear. I always was worried about getting it damaged or somebody stole it, which happened. That's happened plenty of times and I didn't go begging somebody in a YouTube video or anywhere else to replace my stolen gear. I replaced it myself and I also had it insured, so it got replaced. That's what smart musicians do. Sorry, that's I'm just kind of getting far afield there. But anyway, um, budget gear sounds just as nice, and I don't care what anybody says. It sounds just as nice, it plays just as nice, as long as you set up the budget gear well. Wood means nothing. Uh, you know, there's no such thing as tone wood. I don't care what anybody says on a solid body electric guitar, and even a hollow body electric guitar. And pickups are, you can only make them a certain number of ways. So there are good pickups and there are somewhat bad pickups. But the thing is, you can, you know, if you have the musician skill, you can make just about anything sound great. I, I was saying to somebody just the other day, you give Eddie Van Halen a Squire and he's going to make it sound like his Frankenstrat just by playing it. So it's you. It's not the tone wood. It's not all your electronics. It's not what pot versus other pots. What you know, what cap versus other caps, because the, those those differences, the only differences uh, that they have 
are something a dog can hear. And the last time I checked, people couldn't hear dog whistle stuff. You know, they, they couldn't hear a dog whistle. So, and unless you have dog hearing, you're not going to know the difference between mahogany and something else and something else. It's just the way it works. And if you don't like that, too bad. That is just the basic scientific facts. Anyway, again, far afield. So, basically, I, I've played in bands since the 1970s. I did it until 2006 when I had a stroke. I left the stage permanently after that stroke. I knew that I wasn't 100% anymore. I had significant brain damage and it's all in, in memory and things along those lines. Plus my brain will short circuit every so often and my body temperature will go up to like 104 or so and my muscles will get slack. I'll start sweating profusely and I'll sometimes almost black out. So I have to be very careful about my health and I have to watch it very, very closely. It's just the way it works. It's just, it's, if you have a stroke, you're going to have some kind of damage. Um, so, you know, I, I don't play out anymore. I don't play it out at all. Unless somebody asks me to do a spot for maybe a night or so. I don't do it on a regular basis. I won't do it on a regular basis because I can't do it on a regular basis. I also have arthritis in my legs. Uh, my knees and my ankles are very bad with arthritis. And I sometimes have to walk with a cane. And I can't be up there for three hours standing there in front of people. Um, so it's just not something I can do anymore. So I don't play out. I use basically, I use amp sims. I still have six amplifiers. And so in case somebody does ask me to guest spot for a night, that's what I'll use. But usually uh, I'm using on all these videos, or unless otherwise indicated, I use amp sims and that's it. It's done. Okay, moving on from that. Yes, I had a stroke. I have brain damage in a certain regard. And yes, it's been progressive and it just keeps getting worse and worse because it's attacked parts of my brain, memory, and also system regulation. So my body is deteriorating. I am terminally ill. I am going to die. It's going to be in a couple of years or so. I don't know. I was told by my doctors last year I should be dead now or I should have died then. Uh, in uh, December of 2018, I had a heart attack and I did die and I had to be restarted and you know revived so that happened I realize my time is is borrowed basically I'm on borrowed time right now I've accepted it it's life I deal with it it's not a situation where oh god you've given up because a lot of people have said that to me they're like oh you've given up you know you don't want to live anymore no you have to know it's a wisdom it's like this the serenity prayer thing you have to know when there's something you cannot change is before you no matter what you try to tell yourself and people may call that negative um, they may call it whatever but when there's something in front of you that you cannot change no matter what you have to accept it and it's a certain amount of wisdom to accept that I've accepted my health I've accepted my my fate I've accepted my future if I have to go tomorrow then take me tomorrow if I have to go in three years or in two years, take me then. I'm ready for it. I've prepared myself. I'm all right with it. Okay, now why do I do these videos? I do these videos for a few big reasons. One, I'm retired and I'm bored. And anybody who's retired knows. When you get retired and you become retired, there, there isn't a lot to do. You're not going to work every day. You're not like... I was working in the business, so I was always doing something, either practicing or playing gigs or working in the studio or doing something along those lines. I don't do any of that anymore. I just make these videos. So that's what I'm doing just to keep, you know, that. And two, I like to keep my mind active so I don't dwell on my health situation and my, and my fate. That way I don't have to sit there and think about it all the time. You know, I, I have to deal with it. It is a reality, but I'll just... You know, I'll make the videos. I like to keep my mind active. I play video games. I do all stuff like that just to keep my brain active. I read lots of books, watch a lot of TV, watch a lot of movies. I would like to keep my mind active. And these videos help to keep my mind active. And it keeps my skills up as a player, which, you know, I want to keep playing until I'm dead, basically. And that's what I'm going to do, regardless of what anybody may say. And 
if anybody likes it or not, I don't care. I'm going to keep playing. Even if I screw up, and I have screw ups in just about every video, I don't care. I'm going to keep playing. Anyway, uh, next one, I want to leave something behind for people. You know, I don't want to just wink out and then that's it, I'm gone. It'd be nice, you know, somebody maybe a year or two down the road looks at one of my videos and, and sees it. You know, that'd be great. Fantastic. I'm gone, but my videos are still here. That would be fantastic. As long as YouTube doesn't scrap the whole, you know, all the videos and stuff like that or whatever they do. Um, and the last one is, I want to show new musicians and people who are thinking of becoming musicians that you don't need to sell a kidney to have nice sound and nice instruments. You don't need that. That's my purpose. Because people will sit there and they will not get into the music business because a couple of gear snobs tell them, or somebody who has a financial interest in selling you expensive gear, i.e. certain YouTubers, they will tell you that you need something expensive. You know, you need to hand them money or you need to buy this expensive gear because one, it suits their ego, two, it suits their wallets. And it's just not true. I took guitars that were $50, $30, cheap guitars. I even bought one off of eBay and I made it into an excellent instrument and it plays wonderfully and I've done plenty of videos with it. So you don't need to sell a kidney. You don't need expensive gear. It's not important. If you can't play on budget gear, you know, and and make it sound great, then I don't know what you're doing. That's just the way it works. So that's it. Thanks for your attention. Again, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy what I do. And if you don't like it and you hate me, leave a dislike because that works too. I don't care. Haters are haters. They're, they're going to be around. Also, leave a comment if you want. Um, I don't need anyone to feel sorry for me. I've lived a decent life regardless of the situations I've been in at times. I had my 15 minutes of fame. I played to crowds, many sizes of crowds. Sometimes thousands of people, sometimes hundreds of people. Sometimes 20 people at a party. But I, when I was playing these big shows, I felt it through the stage when they cheered. When we took the stage and the audience went berserk, I could, you could feel it through the wood of the stage, through your feet. And that is something that is just ridiculously incredible. And there's a huge, like, wind that comes from all this cheering, too. So it just blows you back. It's, it's fantastic. And it's, it's an awesome feeling. It's great. Um, I've also seen people singing my own lyrics right along with me. Songs I wrote on a couch. I saw these people singing these words back to me. I wrote these songs, and they were singing them as I was singing them. And the feeling of that is just something you could never you never describe. It's just, it's incredible. It's an incredible feeling. So, I feel very lucky to have been on stage. I feel very lucky that people watch my videos, and I am very, very grateful for each and every one of you. Even my haters, I'm grateful for. Hate me all you want, but the thing is, you're giving me your time, and I am so grateful for that, like you wouldn't believe. Thank you. Have a great day.